It's no easy task, creeping through the dangerous caves believed to contain gold deposits. Women and children, some as young as seven years, forced by circumstances but daring enough to live their lives on the edge to beat the biting poverty in this area. Perhaps unknown to them, this get-rich-quick scheme is a grave danger to their lives. And the challenges are many. After digging out the soil, both women and children carry the loads of earth for thousands of kilometers in search of water to sieve the gold out since this mining site has no water. Some are lucky to get, some not. According to the area DC Charles Hingia, this situation has been accelerated by prolonged drought and reduction of government-provided food rations in the district from 2,000 sacks of maize per month to only 500. The relocation of these families is said to have greatly affected the ongoing voter registration exercise as well as exposing thousands to diseases and dangerous animals such as snakes. In Samburu, hundreds of families affected by the recent intercommunal clashes in Baragoy got some relief after the Kenya Red Cross Society donated foodstuffs and hosted a medical camp for families of the Kenya Police Reservice killed by cattle rustlers in an ambush on police officers and the general public affected by the clashes. The violence left 20 Kenya Police Reservists dead and saw more than 500 families displaced from both Samburu and Turkana communities. The families here are still struggling to bring their lives back to normal. The food was distributed at Bendera and Galai. Residents affected by jiggers were also treated. Meanwhile, the Law Society of Kenya Chairman Eric Mutua and Director of Public Prosecution Keria Kotobiko have sent a stern warning to political aspirants to desist from making inflammatory remarks that may cause violence in the country. So we must say no to incitement. We must say no to hate speech. Speaking during Mutua's homecoming in Mui Division, Mwingi East District, Tobiko said that they were keenly monitoring the utterances made by politicians during their campaign rallies to ensure they adhere to the set code of conduct. They also said courts will not allow any aspirants with integrity issues to vie for elective positions. Tobiko said that he had teamed up with the Mzalendo Kibunjo-led Cohesion Commission, Commissioner of Police Matthew Itere, and the Law Society of Kenya to ensure that leaders bent on inciting violence are apprehended to avert any bloodshed as was experienced in 2007 and 2008. Till on matters of peace. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan and ex-Tanzanian President Benjamin Mkapa are expected to arrive in Kenya tomorrow for a four-day visit. The two will be in the country as members of the African Union panel of eminent African personalities to offer encouragement to the Kenyan people and the country's institutions ahead of the March 4, 2013 election. According to a statement from the Kofi Annan Foundation, the program includes meetings with government officials, independent and constitution commissions, and other major stakeholders groups including business leaders, civil society, religious leaders, media, and the international community. And finally, more than 800,000 standard eight pupils will seat their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education examinations starting this Tuesday. According to the revised timetable by the Kenya National Examination Council, the candidates will conduct rehearsals in 22,783 schools countrywide tomorrow. The three-day examination will end on Thursday and results will be released on January 25th. Traditionally, the results would have been released on December 28th, but September's three-week teacher strike has occasioned the delay. Violet Otindo for Sunday Live.